This is not financial advice. This is not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And everything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you get the videos that I put them out, see what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing the data. But like I tell you every day, the data that released us is false. They meant to give us a false narrative of the market because they want to mess with us psychologically so they can take advantage of us, keep us off balance so we can make bad trading decisions and they can capitalize on it. Anyway, here's the thing. Everybody's saying we're not in a recession. I believe, based on everything that's going on around the world, we're in a global recession. And here's why. The British pound is at an all-time low, a 20-year low, compared to the U.S. dollar. The euro, which has been the, the, the money standard for the last 20 years, is at a 20-year low. In some countries, the euro, the dollar rather, is more expensive than the euro. The dollar is more expensive than the euro. And that is something that you haven't seen in about 20 years. And then on top of that, look at what's happening in China. Their housing market is kaput and it's still falling. Their banking sector is another nightmare. Is another nightmare that, that still hasn't seen bottom yet. And then look at the energy cost all across Europe. They have already spent 350 billion to 400 billion euros to subsidize the increased energy costs. And what's going to happen is they're predicting that this coming winter is going to be 10 times as expensive as last winter. So if they already spent 350 to 400 billion euro, how much are they going to end up spending this winter? But more importantly, where are they going to pull that cash from to pay these increased energy costs? And the fact that Ukraine and Russia are still at war, and that doesn't seem like it's going to subside anytime soon. The increased costs are going to keep going up and going up and going up. And they're going to have to pull that money from somewhere. Then look at the U.S. market. Our housing market isn't doing too great either. I believe that bubble's about to pop. Our interest rates are going up. Inflation is going up. So, so we have our own issues here also. So if you look at what's going on in Europe, you look at what's going on in China, you look at what's going on in the United States. And then on top of that, there's a lot of food shortages, a lot of supply chain issues. All this says to me, this is a global, a global recession that we're in. And I believe it's only going to get worse because once they start pulling these funds, they pay for this, these increased energy costs. Once they start losing money in the housing market, once the interest rates keep going up, what's going to happen? All the blue chip stocks are going to be, they're going to be forced to sell their long positions. And once they're forced to sell their long positions at a loss, you know what the next step is. They're going to be forced to cover their shorts. They're going to be forced to cover their shorts. And they don't really have the funds to do that. So that's going to be another major, major problem. So as far as I'm concerned, we're in a global recession. I believe it's only going to get worse. But I believe that even though the global recession is going to get worse, I believe it's going to be very great for the MEM stocks. I'm going to be, I believe it's going to be very great for all these people who are holding eight AMC, GME, and these other MEM stocks because once everything falls into place, once you have that perfect storm, they're going to be forced to cover all their shorts. The blue chips are going to continue to hit bottom, and the MEM stocks are going to go to the moon. Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff, and tell me what you think about us being a, in a global recession that's only going to get worse. Anyway, I appreciate y'all in general with me. God bless. Have a great day.